Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Zen Within Me. Okay, today's reading is going to be a love reading for Gemini Sun Moon Rising. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, guides, guardians, ancestors, and angels, please give me clear and concise messages for Gemini Sun Moon Rising. Okay, what does Gemini need to know at this time regarding their love life? What messages do you have for Gemini regarding their love life? Please continue to protect us, watch over us, and guide us always. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. What message do we have for Gemini's love life? What is the focus this week for Gemini's love life? What does Gemini need to know this week regarding their love life? What messages do we have, thank you, for Gemini's love life? Okay. Okay, so we got two cards here, which is fine. We have the Ten of Wands, so somebody is feeling very overwhelmed and burdened. And the Nine of Swords. Okay, a lot of anxiety and inner suffering here. A lot of despair. Okay, so so I'm seeing this week some of you are under a lot of stress. You're not you're having sleepless nights. You really you got anxiety and you're worried and you're overwhelmed and burdened about something in your love relationship. Now it's going to vary for everyone that's watching because everyone's not on the same path. So you're each going to have different reasons of why this may or may not resonate with you. Okay, so let's get some messages here from the Crystal Oracle deck. Okay, please clarify the Ten of Wands and Nine of Swords for Gemini regarding their love life at this time, please. Please give us some clarity for Gemini regarding the Ten of Wands and the Nine of Swords. What's going on with Gemini's love life, please? Please clarify the Ten of Wands and the Nine of Swords for Gemini. Last shuffle. Forgiveness. Okay. Okay, this one flipped first. So forgiveness is a big issue here. Somebody's either going to need it from you or you're going to need to apologize to someone. And we have trust. Okay, so there's a trust issue here that requires forgiveness. Now this, like I said, everyone's on a different path, so this can be somebody's trust being broken many different ways, okay? All right, so let's get the Love Oracle deck here. Okay, can you please clarify the Ten of Wands and the Nine of Swords for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising regarding their love life at this time? What is going on with Gemini's love life? Please clarify the Ten of Wands and Nine of Swords. Okay, I'll grab more if I need. But for now, we have two that flipped out of the three. So we have love, unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, and attraction. And the other card is mirror, mirroring each other, self-image relationships, reflect our wounds and introspection. Okay. So I'll flip this in a moment. I, I just feel the need to tackle this first. Okay. So whether you are in a relationship with this person and in a fight, or this is somebody that you are temporarily broken up with or have broken up with a while ago. There is love here. This person, whether you're fighting or not together, this is your emotions towards them or theirs towards you. There is unconditional love here. There is passion here. There is affection and attraction, even if you're no longer talking to this person, okay? Whether it's short-term or long-term. Um, 
And that's why they're having sleepless nights and they're feeling overwhelmed and burdened because they want forgiveness because they know that they ruined your trust. But if you guys are not on speaking terms right now, that's why they have anxiety and inner suffering and they're not sleeping at night because they, they're overwhelmed and burdened because they want to come forward. They want to speak their truth. They want to clear up whatever it is they need to clear up. They want you to know how they feel, but they just, they're too afraid to come forward. So they do have strong feelings for you still. Like I said, unconditional love, affection, attraction, passion. And with introspection, they've had some time to really go in and, and look at things and, and reflect on themselves to see how they've treated you, things that they've said. So where it says, um, uh, reflect our wounds. So they're hurt, but they're looking, well, why am I hurt? Well, why is this person hurt? So they're, they're trying to see things from your perspective, okay, from your point of view. That, that's how they're looking at it. Okay, and then we have here a coffee cup. Meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted, friendship. So they want to get together and they want to talk to you, like I said. They're just, uh, they're really, like, in their head, they, they, they feel that they can't come to you. They feel that they've done too much damage that they can't come to you. But I see meeting and conversing, they are going to come forward. And I'll pull some Moonology cards to see if we can get a when. Okay. So let me get uh, some cards from the Power of Love deck. Okay. Still breaking in my new cards from Christmas. Okay. All right. I like this card that came flying out. Okay. This one says Commitment. You dedicate yourself to your beliefs wholeheartedly, knowing that love is your essence of your very being. So yeah, this person is ready to commit. They're coming in to talk to you because they want to commit to you. They know that they messed up in the past. They, they want to fix it. They really want to be with you. They have that unconditional love and they're finally reflecting and realizing that they don't screwed up and they need to come forward if they want any kind of happiness because you're it. Last shuffle any of the messages for Gemini. And this again, like I said, this could be your energy towards someone else as well. It doesn't have to be someone towards you. However, it resonates with you. Okay. Um, all right. So let me actually grab these Moonology cards now. Let's see if we can get some idea of timing for Gemini. Can you please give us some clear and concise timing messages for Gemini regarding this reading? When is this person going to reach out to set up a meeting and talk? Okay, so we got these three that flipped, and then we'll go get those. Okay, so a win-win outcome is forecast. Full moon in Libra. So this is a timeless reading. Look to see when full moon in Libra is. Because if it's too far off and it doesn't make sense, then it could just be the next full moon phase. Okay, so as of when this reading is going to be published, the full moon is, I want to say, February 9th. And a win-win outcome is forecast. Okay, so Gemini, if this is you needing to reach out to someone else and you're terrified and you don't know how it's going to turn out, it's a win-win outcome. Do it. It's going to work out in your favor. There is nothing to be afraid of. And I will say this to all of you. When someone genuinely loves you, it never goes away. And even though time has passed, if you want to reach out and talk to this person, if they genuinely loved you and, and you know that this person is a good soul, is a good spirit, a good hearted, you can always reach out because that person will stay on the phone if you call. The, you send a text, I don't know, texts aren't really re reliable. Sometimes people get them, sometimes they don't. You know, I would just say call or show up. 
those are the best things. Face-to-face -face communication or as close to face-to-face -face communication as you can get is the best form. This way there's no, oh, well, I sent you a text. Well, I didn't get it. Or I sent you an email. Well, I went to spam. I didn't get it. You know, you get someone on the phone and you see them face-to-face -face, and then that's how you get your answers. You can hear the tone of their voice. You can see whatever reaction in their eyes. Those are the best two ways of communication that if, if you're going to tackle something like this that you need to have. Okay, so conclusions are within reach, full moon eclipse. Again, another full moon. Conclusions are within reach, which means this is doable, this is possible, and soon. Okay. Step out of your comfort zone. This is either for you, Gemini, or the person that may be cross-watching that's dealing with you. Okay, step out of your comfort zone. There, there's enough messages that are saying it's okay, reach out. But my suggestion is to either call or have a face-to-face -face communication. Balance spirituality and practicality. Another full moon in Pisces. So you may be dealing with a Pisces. Okay. And the last card... Your hard work is paying off. New moon in Capricorn. So again, you may be dealing with a Capricorn. This is a timeless reading. Check to see when new moon in Capricorn is. Or it could just be, for some of you, by the next new moon. So for a lot of you with three full moons here, February 9th or whenever you're watching this when your full moon is, is relevant at this time. And then for some of you, if nothing happens by the time of the full moon, well, then that could be when it's new moon. But then also keep in mind new moon in Capricorn, full moon in Pisces, full moon eclipse, and then full moon in Libra. So timing is tricky. This is just an idea, okay? There's also free will, so things can change at all times. Okay. So now I'm going to grab some cards from, actually, you know what? No, I'm feeling these cards over here. The love and connection cards. Let's grab these. Okay, so what other messages do we have for Gemini here regarding this love reading? Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. Do something new. Do something different. Beautiful advice. Ever notice how it's easier to fall in love and to be fallen in love with when you're busy? Thank goodness I'm you, the universe. Okay, so the message here is do something new. Do something different. All right, so if you're trying to think of, well, how do I reach out to this person? Do something new. Do something different. Use your imagination. For each of you, it's going to be something new and different to try. Okay, maybe send some flowers, you know, we're in uh, almost we're in February. So Valentine's Day is coming up. Send some flowers just saying miss you. Um, I'm sorry, even something like that, you know, deliver it to their job, deliver it to their house. Just something that's new and different, you know, or I don't even know if they're selling uh, singing telegrams anymore. Or just, you know, try and send a, a CD of music or something like that whatever something new and different to you okay and that will bring uh, get your points brownie points okay so thank you guys so much for liking sharing watching and subscribing peace and love i will see you in the next reading